Oh, am I not going up? I don't have the buildings for it. This is embarrassing. Oh, wow. A pro player forgot the buildings. Nothing can be worse than that. I stopped making bills. No! <laughs> I canceled him! Okay, <laughs> never mind. Alright, hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a YouTube video, plus uh, obviously I'm streaming now, I just started, so people will be coming in. But uh, we're going to do some educational commentary today and uh, and see what happens. So win or lose, it uh, doesn't really matter. The point is for us to comment on what we're going to do, uh, or for me to comment on what I'm going to do, and for you guys to enjoy and, uh, and all that stuff. Let me just get everything set up here on the streaming end. And the Dark Age is pretty standard. We, we should know this by now, or at least what to do in theory. Um, just give me two seconds and actually I'm gonna pause because there's too much going on here. It's Bulgarians versus Mongols right now and uh, yeah, this is gonna be for the people on stream. This is gonna be a educational commentary for both you guys here and for the YouTube guys. So that's gonna be the plan. Uh, Bulgarians versus Mongols. Uh, it's kind of a hard matchup for a late game from for, for Bulgarians, but I feel like Bulgarians have maybe uh, some good options in mid to, you know, early to mid game. So we'll see what I can do here. Hmm. Opening scouts, I feel like would not work because then I can't follow it up with crossbows, which is usually what you want to play against the Mongols in that mid game. Skirms won't work because then they have camels to counter my knights. Uh, so skirm, yeah, so skirm knight wouldn't work for that reason. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and go for um, go for some men at arms early game and then try to pressure after that with some skirms or archers. So men at arm opening seems good. Might even actually consider a drush to hit Mongols before they're futile. And then play uh, men at arms, and then I get the free men at arm upgrade after that. So that may be the plan here. Um, yo, Vikash, thanks to the five, get this does, man. Your support has been actually incredible lately. Thank you so much. Um, as usual, alerts are muted until I get a better PC setup. We'll be getting that hopefully soon. But the parts are so expensive now, so it's kind of hard. But I might just get like a new uh, CPU. Uh, we'll see. I know. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that right now. Let's focus on the educational commentary part of things. So, yeah, Bulgarians. Two boars there. You know what? I might even lure a deer, just because Mongols are gonna get such a good start that I wanna, I wanna try and match them by luring in a deer. I'll, be, I'll be behind on scouting, but I'll have a bit more, a uh, bit more food to start off my game. So let's see. If I go men at arms, I follow it up with some archers. He's gonna go maybe scouts. He could also do men at arms himself. Yeah, I think men at arms into full wall with like maybe one range and then transition to like either skirms or knights and castle or maybe a mix of both. Can't really do cow archers with Mongols, that is a little awkward. Uh, and then obviously I don't have crossbows as Bulgarians, so that's not really going to work either. Let's get a house in front of my berries. Just kind of set that up here. Um, house there, then mill right there on the berries, and that should be quite a good. Alright, I mean, <laughs> let's get one vill on that sheep. It doesn't really matter, but we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. And, hmm kind of just thinking about my map here. I think if I wall this side to this wood line, wall this side, I can use that wood line pretty safely. And then this is a natural wall in the mid game as well. So kind of just getting a feel. The Dark Age is like the slowest part of the game. So this is when you have to get a feel for how you wall your map and kind of what you want to do. Um, and you don't have to think of everything in the Dark Age. Just kind of think of the next couple steps and plan out how you want to play the game. Um, the higher level you are, the more you have, like the more the Dark Age is like second nature to you. Are, to you. That's like a general rule. Um, so like for me, Dark Age isn't really something I'm focusing on. I'm more uh, like in terms of learning board and stuff. I'm more focused on setting up my map. That's the most important thing for me. So uh, something that you guys can, uh, can, can consider for your games as well. What to do in Dark Age. Obviously, if you're having trouble with Dark Age, then just focus on it. You're not quite there yet. That's okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, I have my strategy. I'm going to do like 20 pop. So I alerted deer because I want to do like 20 pop uh, men at arms here. Um, try and match the Mongols speed. I will still be slower to feudal age if he decides to go for a scout rush here. But we'll see. I feel I feel like that's, it's the best. It's giving me the best shot if I do that. So let's, let's try it out. This feel forward is going to go with a house, then a barracks. It's a little far out, but... You know, I, I want to get that walled up at some point as well to use this wood line, so I'm going to have to go for it. Hopefully that build doesn't get stopped at all. 
Uh, he will not run in there. Yeah, it's pretty expected. He's got the Mongol line aside. Getting a loom, so I'm not really worried about this fill. Could quick wall her, if anything. But we'll see. We'll, we'll keep an eye on her. We'll keep an eye on her. Alright. So now we need to get 10 gold. That's the Bulgarian men arm builds. Obviously, you get the upgrade for free, but you still need the extra 10 gold to make that standard 3 militia. It's kind of like a drush. And, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, I have everything I want to do. He did spot my gold, though. <laughs> I'm not going to change my strategy, even if he knows it's coming. I'm, I'm going to have to commit to it. So, that's unfortunate. Well, it's not unfortunate. It's good, it's good, it's good moves from, from MBL more than anything. Good scouting. But, uh, yeah, I, I have to keep that in mind, that he knows what's, uh, what's coming here. All right, let's get on that wood line now. And after the men-at-arms, I still don't have a plan of what I want to do. Maybe like one range full wall. It, it is kind of a weird matchup. It's not. A, I don't even know if it's a hard matchup yet. I mean, Bulgarians generally struggles against archer sieves. I think cav archer sieves in particular. Oh, that's that's bad. I gotta get my militia forward because he's probably gonna be faster up to feudal than I am. Yeah, he'll probably hit in the next uh, five seconds. Nope. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Knew it. Oh, that's a uh, good play from him, more than anything. Not what I want to be doing, though. Oh, I don't know about that. Alright, and let's get this upgrade. And now I can actually start walling, so... Not sure what this trade is all about for him. Okay, that's weird. Ooh, that's a bad bad time to get house. That's my fault. That's my fault. It's my bad. Let's group up this militia now. Oh, yeah. All right. Low HP scout got he got away with a lot there. That one low HP scout. I'm gonna follow it up with a stable here. So like I said, I, I said I didn't know, know what I want to follow it up with. I feel like stable is a little bit appropriate here. Um, it did force a few spearmen out though. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if I'm let's see if I'm right in that. We'll get horse collar as well. I'll wait a little bit on this farm. All right, should be defended on that side. And it looks like that's where he's gonna go from. So I'm okay with that. I have to play with the spearman. <laughs> that was not worth it for him. I, I knew he would try to take the fights, but that was not worth it. Okay. Okay, a bit of poke there. Now we can finish walling that side. So now we're going to continue walling this side. So the only danger here for me is the fact that I'm kind of stuck playing melee units against Mongols who could go for like cab archers and stuff later on. Yeah, okay, that's kind of a mistake for me. Good play from him. I will lose a build. Alright, almost got it. My fault. Uh, keeping that out there, but it's okay. It's just one villager. If he goes, I guess at this point, if he goes cab archers, I'm just gonna go scrims. I don't really have any other option. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a couple scouts here because I'm gonna need to find some damage to him. Not only because he killed the villagers now, but just in general. I'm gonna get a spear back here as well. Just in general, I, I don't see how I can play Castle versus the Mongols that's untouched. Um, just because they're a threat for, uh, for cab archers, you know, just crossable planes and Mangadai, it's going to be very hard to stop. Alright. Get three scouts in there. Make, maybe I'll make one more scout. Ooh, that, that's good. That's exactly what I needed right now, in fact. But it seems like MBL has other ideas in mind. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly what I needed, but it's not quite being given to me. He had the scouts there to defend himself. 
I can go forward with the spear at this point, though. Okay. Hmm. Do I really go knights versus him, though? That spearman is weak. Yeah, we can, we can... Is he fully walled here? If he's fully walled, it is what it is. If not, we'll see what we can... We'll see what we can find here. Oh, looks like there might be a hole. My scouts are pathing in a weird way here. They're going along the side. If there's a hole, I consider myself lucky. Go for that downhill strike. I'll consider myself lucky here. That was a quite of a big hole. Maybe I can con I can continue massing scouts then, if that's the case. Defensive spear. He knows about this area though. Uh, getting housed again, eh? But I will lose a unit, so it won't matter. Ah, uh, I actually lost that fight. Hmm. No, I'm not sure what to make of this. I am forcing him to make a lot of scouts, though. I feel like that could be a good thing. Maybe we'll borrow them up. Yeah, I cannot fight that, though. Yeah. I'm going to continue attacking with the scouts. See what I can make happen. It's only 75 food. I'm going to queue it, but if, if he's fully walled, I'm going to cancel it by the time I get there. So this is just queuing it to see if I could make use of it. If not, then I'm going to cancel it. Hmm. I'm gonna cancel it. Uh, there's no no, uh, no damage gonna be done here. I'm thinking of pushing with knights though, honestly. I saw him there with something. Can I hit this palisade? He has a vill here though. He's gonna be able to close it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. They have no armor, so it was a good, maybe a good attempt for me, but not really gonna do much to him. All right, that's a free spear for a scout, maybe. Nope, not even. I think I'm gonna push him in castle with knights, honestly. Knights and siege. Don't give him time to get to Mangadai, maybe. Because he, he walled so much, and I don't think he can hold those walls. I might not even need the siege part of it. I might just go knights and be able to break in, honestly. Yeah, if you keep sending me the spears, I'll keep taking them. I don't mind. I really don't mind that. Uh, more market for him. I wonder if he's on stone for Mangadai. At this point, I have no choice. It's too stable night for me. It's what it is. And the goal is going to be to try and break in somewhere. I can't tell if he's on stone or not. No way to know. He has a lot of scouts, though. That's good to know, actually. He's wasting a lot of food there. I feel like that's a good thing for me. Uh, but again, I, I keep stressing how this matchup could be a little awkward. Do I mass more scouts here? Or do I just get upgrades? Definitely get upgrades. I think I'll mass some scouts, though. Really? He didn't fight that? Yeah, just finish him off, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no reason not to do that. Can I take this fight? He has bloodlines now. Bloodlines tells me he may be thinking of cav archers. Oh, uh, cav archers would be so dominant here for him. I, I'm really scared of... I'm really scared of cav archers. I, I will not lie to you guys. No, plus one attack. He's going to do knights or camels. Wait, that's really good for me. Did not expect that, but I'm happy to see it. So looks like he's just gonna go knight camel. I'll just do two stable and boom then, I guess. Listen, it's not the best situation for me because I did lose a vill earlier, but I do feel like he's playing a bit bit wrong, if I'm, if I'm being honest here. I'll just take the trade and run. Hit that guy, maybe. No armor. That guy, and we can run. Cheaper upgrades, we want to make use of those guys. Town center here. And we're just going to that farm. Pick up that as well. Alright, let's pick up these uh, scouts. Okay, we can't. Let's just go attack with the knights. <laughs> I'm not very confident. I hate to be a Debbie Downer in this educational commentary, but I'm not very confident with this game because late game is going to be really hard for me to win. So I'm going to look for some any area I can with my knights to break in now. He's got a big wall, so there's a possibility. I got to watch out for his camels as well. That is a possibility for him too. And you know what? As as we always boom with uh, with knights, this, you want to pick up relics where you can. Yeah, there's the camel. So that was the possibility. We'll run back and just boom. 
He's definitely 3 TC2. So the thing about Knight versus Camel is that Knights can actually win. Um, Camels are... Not, it's not like Pikemen versus Knights, where Pikemen will always... Almost always get, like, cost-efficient trades. Um, Camels do well against Knights, but Knights can win, especially if you have more upgrades or, you know, more numbers, that kind of thing, so... I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not forced to transition to anything just yet. And and in late game I have the option of doing like halb and, and we'll see what, what else. So he's got only plus one attack. I think plus one attack is inefficient with camels. I think you should get armor on them. They already get that attack bonus. Alright, now we need a we need a Bob villager. A house fill. That's perfect. I'll continue making knights as well. So let's pick up this relic real quick, and I'm, I'll patrol my knights here. Like we'll see what happens, but I'll patrol my knights. Okay, I'm not too unhappy with that. He does have a way to run though. I'll try to catch him. You know what I need is husband to try and be a little bit more competitive with catching. My speed. Alright, I'm not too unhappy about that. We'll pick that relic up and I'll be pretty happy with it. I gotta watch out here though, because he has uh he has that scout that's running around. He wants to get my monk with it. That's for sure. Yep. He's looking for it. Ooh, there's a lot of camels for him, which I kind of again I kinda like this for me. It's the best thing that could have happened. MB, if you're re-watching this. I'd like to hear his reasoning on why no cav archers. So I was personally very scared of cav archers and Mangadai and that kind of stuff. So I'd, I'd be curious to know why not. It's not that he's playing bad. It's not at all. I'm just thinking, I feel like this is the best, the best case scenario here for me in this matchup. But we'll see. Don't want to talk too soon, of course. Right, let's try to break in. There's still some areas where it's just houses. And again, now we're, our night numbers are starting to rise up a little bit. I, I'm going to tank the conversion. I'm going to tank the conversion. He convert. He deleted it. Now we can just run in. I could even add another stable if needed. Yeah, yeah we, we're in. We're in. Oh no, that guy got sniped, that monk. That's what he was doing there with his with his monk. Oh he got his camel back. Okay. S small slip ups for me. Uh another town center maybe? I feel like I could use another stable if anything. Maybe more monks forward as well. No way, no way. Yeah, no way, all right. That should be nothing, that should be nothing. Oh, he's got a lot of camel's mass though. I think he wins this fight if we take it. Maybe I go, I go, maybe uh, pikeman transition now, honestly. I was scared of those camels. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Like, I feel like I could win that fight. But I'm scared to take it. So I think just transition to pikemen makes some sense here. Oh, that's awkward. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and take it here. With a conversion, maybe I win it. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, it doesn't look that good. Score-wise, we kind of end up winning it, though. 
Maybe his eco's ahead, that why his score is up. Pike Pikeman transition is a bit well, that's a fast conversion for him. Pikeman's transition could be coming in clutch though. You know what I want is this hill. Looks like he wants it too. Oh, looks like he has he can claim it. Imperial Age should be in question now for me. We'll try to raid him with those guys. I don't need that. Oh, I don't need that either. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. All right. Um, yeah, there's no point trying to really quick wall much there. Just make sure I can get that down. Now his castles. This is going to be tough for me. Magadha coming out now is a bit awkward. Wow, that's a lot of castles, dude. That's a lot of castles. Is Zico really that good? I don't know if Zico's that good. Looks like it's pretty solid, though. Damn, I think I just might be dead here. I mean, score doesn't look that bad, but position seems completely lost. He's just ramming his way. Castle. Just castling his way, I should say, not ramming. Did lose all his camels, though. Could be a bit awkward if I... I did. I lost the hill, though. That is awkward for me. Let's get a defensive castle now, I suppose. Oh, am I not going up? I don't have the buildings for it. This is embarrassing. Yeah, we should definitely have the buildings for that. Let's try to run away that way, I guess. Yeah, it's just so many castles for him. You know what I should do, actually? I should go skirms. That's the only way to win this game. I feel like that's the only way to win this game. Skirmishers at this point. It seems like the re the weirdest transition possible, but I swear it might be the only way to win. And he sees it now, so he knows all about this transition. I mean, I'm not too worried about him sniping a couple of villas, actually. I'm really not too worried about that. Doesn't know what I'm up to now, though. It does seem very weird to end up with uh, with skirms randomly as Bulgarians, but yeah, I'm, I'm not very confident in it. But it does feel like the only only chance here versus Mangadai, because he's got a lot of castles. If he came with one castle, I'd be like, you know what? Cavalier seems good. But looks like he's just gonna drop another castle here. It's, this is crazy, actually. This is pretty nuts. I'll keep my pikemen alive for his star transition. Try to raid with those guys, maybe. Yeah, it's another castle. I'm not even phased by it at this point. You know what? I want to take this hill. This hill is gonna be nice. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. Okay, let's just drop it off at this point. the upgrades and you know what behind this I mean there's options of helps and there's options of just his stars ourselves I'm not sure what I like more for now I feel like just help is better honestly yeah I feel like just help is better a lot of resources there yeah my cast is well defended here He's massing a lot of manga though. He will lose a couple of his castles. He will lose a couple of his castles. Uh, listen, it's not looking that pretty. I've been in better positions before. That's 100%. But I feel like we're making the right calls despite the, the suspiciously bad situations that we've been put in. Uh, 
uh, lacking some wood here. Yeah, and this is what I gotta be careful of as well. Like this area is full exposed. I just hope he doesn't commit to that area. Looks like he is gonna commit to it. I do have I do have good defense there though. I have a good amount of scrims. Uh, I'll lose some bills, but well, what can you do? Could use another castle. Uh, not castle, trebuchet. Mm -hmm. He's up the next stage. And that's going to be problematic. A lot of idols. Oh, some raiding, making making the game difficult. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I really just what I'm trying to do is um, is, is get to, to a point in late game where I have like his stars and I have you know a lot of gold and he's got very little of everything and he can't really death ball me with Mangadai. If I can get there, there's a chance, but if not, then it's gonna be uh, pretty dead for me. He's preparing the light calf. Gonna prepare the Hussar here, of course. Uh, not, not the Hussar, the helps. Okay. Where are you gonna strike? Continue going. Here he comes. So these manga die. But it's not the worst defense I've ever done in my life. It really isn't. <laughs> I just I love how strong that unit is actually. Make that transition now. Gotta get the Hussar somehow. I wanna trade my army now because I got too much pop. I wanna trade my army. I need to make ways for, for some trebs. Yeah, I'm gonna just trade like under his eco, like or under his castles, I don't mind. Just give me some trades, whatever it is. I'll take it. I could also get that, actually. Alright, just looking for some trades. Oh, 
Ooh, lost all my halves though. Not sure about those trades, that's for sure. I think some rams might be coming in here for him. That was a bit dicey. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I don't care too much. First of all, let's start raiding him because I need to make the game hard for him. All right, now now we got to do a big defense here. And you know what? We can actually completely give up on this trap. He's gonna come though. Yeah, I mean it's just a trap for a couple mega die every time. I mean that's not even a bad trade for me necessarily though. Scorpions for him. Hmm, a good choice potentially. But now if he gets raided, can you keep up with the raids? That's the question. Can you keep up with the raids? Heavy Scorp is in. These guys are gonna terrorize me, Eco, real quick. I have another castle spot though. Starting to lag a little bit on my end. Need more farmers now. That's a must. He did get raided a lot though. And can he handle the raids? That's the that's the question I'm asking from him right now. If you can't handle the raids, maybe I can win this game. And what a game it would be. Let's try and trade down the Manga Die now. I gotta get ready for the next siege push though, that's gonna be kinda tough to hold. Continue massing bills, just get the 200 pop again. Here he comes again. We got raided a lot, but I have to give this castle up now. Just that death ball is so strong. Oh no, not those guys. Yeah, look how he's keeping the rams on the side of the skirms and then the mega on the side of the hussars. Very strong. Scrims are getting clobbered. That's the death ball I don't want to be facing here. Maybe I maybe just maybe I have enough here to push him back. Even the scrims are hard now. Uh, my crap was hot keys all over the place. Oh, I don't have two traps there. I'm not sure what that's about, to be honest. No, he has, he has the eco? He has the eco here, I think. Uh, I think it's pretty over right now. I, I was never able to thin out the Mangadai enough. 
or to stop the siege. He had a lot of gold. He even took my gold. That was a pr yeah, that was a problem. That's kind of why he was able to do that. He took my gold as well. I can try to hold again with the Krepos, but I think it's going to be kind of over right now. Yeah. And this is kind of my, my biggest fear from the start in game. Getting ruled by Mangadai. And Bulgarians don't really have an answer to this. Yep, that's going to be a GG. Well played, MBL. That was a good game. That's probably going to make it its way to YouTube. Uh, we had a nice, uh, nice educational commentary, I think. And I mean, let's reflect from what went wrong for us. Um, I think like he had a weird idea with the castle. So he, he delayed his imp to get castles in the center. My plan was to get this hill. That was my idea. But uh, he was just a little bit quicker and got, got his castles down there. Um, it was very tough. He was missing Parthian tactics. Um, if he lost the game, he'd be kicking himself for that. Hmm. Yeah, not really sure what what could have went wrong, but like what went wrong there for me. Yeah, if anything, I feel like he played it. Uh, you know, giving me some chances with the camels. I still don't think that was a great idea for him. I think cab archers and castleage. I was really terrified of that. But honestly, maybe I'd have to see it again. Maybe he was thinking I'd go skirms. Um, what he did was pretty good in the end. Um, but yeah, I think I think maybe just don't give him this hill so easily. Yeah, try, try to get this hill from him, because uh, as soon as he got that, then it became very awkward. So maybe maybe earlier pike switch prevent him from just getting this hill, and don't fight camel versus knight if I'm already switching to pike. I think that was that was the problem. I think that was the biggest problem because I, I felt like I lost control in Castage. I feel like an imp, I did a pretty good job, honestly. I, I raided the shit out of him. He had very low eco at some points, but he just put everything forward. Like, one, two. Still don't know how he managed. He had like six castles all forward. I still don't know how he managed all that so fast. Um, but I, I was floating stone, I guess. I just didn't have the place to put it. Yeah. I mean, I did okay. I, I raided him even. Finding this would have been good, I guess. I raided him a lot. I did what I wanted to do. Could have raided here maybe more. But can, can never read the center because it's got too many castles. I did what I wanted to do. It just wasn't good enough, I guess. All right, GG. Take a look at the timeline. Yeah, I, I guess. The, I guess. I mean, I never really went downhill. It was really just a pos positional loss. Population was always even. All right, let's. Uh, very hard matchup in my opinion. Yeah, I, I always say like Bulgarians. Bulgarians are dying to uh, to archer sieves and CA sieves feel like it's in the same bag as well. Especially because I can't really go siege against them. Uh, especially Mongols, that is.